Is it possible a simple device like this to make you a better driver? I know it sounds like stupid promise, but if you give attention to the next two minutes, I promise you, you will change your mind. First, you have to understand what trial braking does with the physics on this planet, and then you will realize how this little device is the missing link in sim racing. So, not this in your mind. The ABS activation kills the rotation of the car and ruins the entry of the corner. And let me explain the physics behind that. Let's say we brake and turn into right corner. All the forces move the weight transfer front to the left tire. And what that extra compression does to the front tire? Right, it gives more grip. That's the tire which will take all the hard work to make the car turn in. Let's see now what happens with the rest of the chassis. As most of the weight transfer moves front, the rear tires have less compression, which means they have less grip. And that is what creates the rotation. That disbalance of the grip between all four tires helps the rear follow completely different line. Some call this slip angle, some yaw angle, but basically what happens. The weight pressure keeps the front down and the front tires follow almost completely stable line while the rear start sliding because of the way less available grip and create that rotation around the axis and follow almost completely different line. I hope you get the point. That difference of available grip between the four tires is what helps the car rotate and turn in. I can't stress this enough, but the whole point of trail braking is to keep that perfect balance of the weight transfer while turning in and decelerating. The chassis must be super stable. You can't play with that. No, here is how the ABS destroy all that. If we exceed the available grip on the front left tire while braking and we lock it for a split of a second, the ABS kicks in and release the tire to move up, which moves the weight transfer to the back. And that new weight distribution is what makes the car overshoot the corner. It's just simple physics. We brake, give more grip to the front tire, which turn, the less grip rotate the car on the rear, around the axis, but then through bad trail braking, the ABS kicks, brings some of the weight back. Now we have completely different weight distribution and we totally lose that initial rotation around the axis. That's called bad trail braking because of the lack of any feedback. We usually think we came too fast and next time we just came slower without even realizing where exactly the problem is. And then we are thinking how some people are like lightier, faster. When I first tested almost a year ago the SimoQ pedals, I instantly realized how huge step that ABS feedback is and felt bad for the people who will never gonna have the chance to pay that premium price for something which is not just gimmick or immersive, but important, missing link in sim racing. This is the feedback which actually brings me to the limits of my personal braking performance without the need of practicing for ages to find my limits, and that is with big if. Fortunately for us, SimLogic came with that brilliant idea of the haptics, which are maybe not SimoQ pedals, but bring very similar results for way more affordable price. What happens now is I can trail brake in the way in, and if the ABS kicks and the haptic hit my pedal, I know where the problem is. And next time when I can, instead of thinking, whoa, I was too fast, I will press a bit less pressure and try to not activate the ABS and let the car rotate around the corner with 
the same speed. <laughs> this feedback is as vitally important as the feedback from the base. The same apply if we use tire lock effects for cars without ABS. The physics are the same. Now, if you change your mind and you believe that can actually make you faster, let me show you what this kit is. This is kit for the P2000 pedals and I know so many people with that model who felt let down from Sim Magic when they bring the P1000 out ready for that feedback. The kit is so professionally built and for someone who is not familiar with the P2000 may think it's just original build and not something added later. The CNC work and design from those guys impressed me every time. Once those motors are attached, the only difference in feeling to the P1000 is the different level of strength I had to set. Those are way more powerful than they have to be anyway, and even the P1000 I use them at around 30% strength for the P2000, I set them to 50% to get the same sensation. In both cases, the power is more than enough. Now, why this specific kit is so important? First, this is autonomic kit with its own controller and power supply with extra slots for the P2000, but it can be used on its own. It can be controlled from SimMagic software, but is also fully compatible with the SimHub, and as we know, there we will find tons of effects. Lately, the most frequent questions I'm getting is how it feels and how it compares to a bus shaker or rumble motors. So, the main difference is this is heavy rubber which hits in both directions and feels a lot like in a real car ABS pedal behavior. It is not some kind of vibration, it is actual kick which makes it really feel like in real car and when I say feels intuitive, I mean that it is super intuitive. Rumble motors are fun, but they give vibration feeling like and react with some delay till gain some speed and transfer that vibration to the pedal. Then the bus shakers are good as well, but they transfer the feedback to the chassis and it's not as intuitive as it will be on the pedal itself. They all will do something, but for locks and ABS, I feel the haptics way, way better than even my motion rig, which can shake me for real. So, I can tell you this, the simple haptic for ABS and locks is the next best thing after real car and Simocube pedals for braking. It is also way better than rumble motors and bus shakers and you need one. Traction control feedback or bite point on the clutch, for me that is more on the gimmick side and can be fun but it won't help much. I personally don't care at all for those two but on the brake, whoever gonna use one will have real advantage. So I'm happy to see Sim Magic doesn't try to walk this kit just in their ecosystem and if you find a way to use it in your own pedals do it for a brake pedal. This is not just suggestion from me. Testing is absolutely necessary. Take it. You will thank me later.